So tell us how long you've been rapping for. Well, right now, I ain't gonna front. I ain't taking serious like last year, but like two, three years probably, I'd say. So you say two, three years. So like what like what year you made your first song? 2016. And did, like you promoted it? Like you made a music video and everything? Nah, I don't know. Because like, <laughs> everybody was telling me, you know, that shit is dirt. Everybody telling me, nah, that's dirt. Don't do it to yourself. So I ain't do it. I'm dead. So you had to cook up some more and then you was ready? Yeah, I started being around niggas more often and going to the stool with them and seeing how shit work, really. You feel me? I got into them. So, like, um, so the Briscoe name, where did that, where did that come from? Hey, Kristen. Nah, that was just something that everybody from my hood had gave me. You feel me? So I took it and ran with it. So y'all are connected with the Blickies? Or is that, like, yeah. Separate? So you didn't want to get the Blicky name like everybody else? <laughs> Nah, I wanted to be on some, I wanted to make my own name, you feel me? I don't want nobody to be like, oh, yeah, this nigga got his card off of them. Nah. Okay, that's that's respected. So, um, so people was telling me that you're Nas' brother, right? Nah. No? Nah. These people be dragging it. I really thought y'all was, like, sick related. So, you're not related to none of them. You just fuck with them. <laughs> hey, everybody can. So, you should make that clear, because, like, people be going with that story and running with that. <laughs> nah, y'all y'all got it all mixed up. That's not my brother. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. It's uh, how come Cap? Did somebody send this question? It said, like, "How come Cap got hit and got left on the floor?" I don't know what that means. How come what? How come Cap got hit and got left on the floor? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, bro. This is a question that they. Nah, that they don't got nothing to do with nothing. Okay. So, um, so what was that song that you feel like everybody paid attention to? I said everybody should pay attention to this song. Oh, I'm about to go like, to the stool later that on. that song that got your buzz up. You said what? You said what's the song that everybody paid attention to? Yeah, like everybody got your buzz up type shit. That got your buzz up. Um, it's a song with my son, Milo Flox, um, Glizzo, and... Yeah, that's it. My son tried to put on Michael Flots for like 2018, I see. It's called Teed Up. So, um, so what what do you think makes you stand out as an artist? Like, what makes you different from everybody else? Me, myself, I know I'm mad versatile. Like, a lot of people, they, they try to focus on one style and keep it that way. Now, I'm mad versatile. Like, uh, I switch it up on any type of flow I want to, like, when I feel like it. So you versatile. Um, I was gonna say. So being that, like the people that you deal with got like a crazy background. Does that bother you in any way? Not really. Like I know what I signed up for. So. So you prepared for whatever type of shit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, um, how you feel about Brooklyn Drill overall right now? I feel like. It's a lot of niggas saying that Chicago started it. I'm not gonna lie, they started it, but they saying we copied them. I really don't see it at all. I feel like we got our own sound of joke. You know what I mean? Like it's something that people could party and vibe to at the same time. But at the same time, it's on some real killer shit. But Chicago is straight killer drill shit. It's none of that. We got a different sound from them when it comes to drill. They feel like we don't sound like them. I feel like a lot of like Brooklyn artists are like fake dissing each other. Like you say mad people names in your songs. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, you I really don't clear know. Clear who you addressing. Like that's just who I am. <laughs> so like, will you, so when you get on, you think you will stop making diss tracks, or that's what people like? What you nah, like? I'm gonna stop. That's that's just something I use right now to my advantage because I know that's what the fans want to hear from me. They like the disrespect, so I'm gonna just for me. So if you if you ain't have if 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 you wanted to switch it up, what would you switch it up to? Like making club music, songs for girls, like nah. ready to switch Honestly, it up. Honestly, I like to speak shit that everybody gonna relate to. So like, if I could speak on something like situations that I know everybody going through, I'd rather do that. Like on some Drake, Lil Dirk shit, Drake shit, shit like that. Yeah. Very cool. Do you have who's your like dream collab right now? If I what? Who's your like dream collab? Who's some artist you want to work with right now? 
Um, I'm not gonna lie. I only want to collab with one artist, probably. I say, and that's Tusi. That's who? Tusi. Tusi. He's from yeah. the south, no? Yeah. Okay, I know you You don't. Nobody else. No Drake. No Meek. No none of that. Nah, they're not really <laughs> people like I could relate to. Only Tusi and Raw Wave. The only two people. So you would be on some rapping shit with Raw Wave, or you gonna throw on some other? Nah, I'm gonna go on the same floor that he got. <laughs> that's, that's that's the shit I like. Oh, so yeah, so that's one of your favorite artists right now. Who else is some of your favorite artists right now? Who you bumping? Um, only them two and Polo G, really, because that those are the three people that really like speak shit that I've been through. So like, I understand it. I really connect to it. Other people like I don't really be into all that other shit that they be talking about. Not really a vibe. So if you had to um co-sign three underground artists, who would they be? If I had to sign, co-sign the underground artist, yeah, it would probably three. be three. All right, cool your friends with somebody that... Somebody... Yeah, not to sound biased, but for a fact, my son, Biz B, mm -hmm. um, Chris Elite, and Amaya's Ron. Chris Elite, okay. okay. It keeps sending in a mixy question. I'm not asking that. <laughs> but, um, so, let me see. So, like, when, so when did things start to, like, pick up for you? Like, when did you see your fan base growing? When did it, like, when, when I did Woo My Spliff video. When, did <laughs> when me and my son CD Sev, when we did Woo My Spliff, I was mm -hmm. posting statuses about it on Facebook, like, trying to get people attention from it. And it was shooting, like, I mean, once that is, like, give me 100 reactions, I'm going to drop the video. And I had them waiting, waiting, waiting for, like, three months for the video. Because it was a little situation going on from when we shot the video. And the cameraman, like, it was moving funny and trying to give it to us. But eventually we got it. It took, like, three months. So everybody was screening for it. And I got, like, 500 reactions, I think, on one post saying, um, give me 200 reactions and I'm going to drop it. And they gave me, like, five. Okay. So they was jacking it. And then that, that, I think that's the first 100K that I got. 100K views. And um, response part three, is that 100K now? Or it's about to be? Yeah, right now it's at 130 in three yeah. weeks. Yeah, so you, you getting up there type shit. Um, somebody said, do you listen to any of your ops? And if so, who? I don't really listen to my ops. I don't pay attention to them. I know when niggas say my name, I'm going to tune in. For me just to hear what they gotta say, but that's really it. Mm -hmm. And then it's not the hating shit neither. For me, it's just I feel niggas not living with they not rapping. You feel me? I feel like they not living with the rapping at all. So I can't really bump you. <laughs> if I feel like you talking a lie in your track, I can't listen to you, bro. Like that should just sound all false to me. I can't can't do it. So you can't listen to frauds type shit. Yeah, shit like that. Um, and somebody else. Said, do you have any surprise features? Yeah, for a fact, I got a couple. I got a um, I got a song with my son Nick Blicky. We're gonna do a vid to that as soon as this Corona shit finish and the quarantine shit done. Mm -hmm. Um, my son Tay Bando. Um, two two G's. Um, oh yeah, got something. Okay. In the next track with Nas Blicky. And yeah, that's really it right now that I could think of. But for me, of yeah. course, it's more. So people from your size and stuff. So you would collab with like other artists like OT and stuff? Definitely, for a fact. I got a couple features with um somebody I met in Florida. Okay. So um has quarantine been stopping like the flow of your music? Like you've been in the studio more, or less videos, like has quarantine messed shit up? Nah, at first I was in like I'm a hard-headed nigga, I'm not going to lie. So I wasn't jacking none of that quarantine shit they were saying. <laughs> I was outside every day still shooting exactly. videos. And for me, like, back to back, I did, like, three videos. And then I dropped them. That's when I dropped Impossible. That's when I dropped Run Up On Them. And I dropped um, Structure Up. Then, what else did I do? I went to the school, like, every... What song called Structure Up? All right. I'm going to put it like this. Dumb niggas, they got their own little weird situation going on where they feel like they want to be our ops. So for me, I had to just, like, make a statement about everything that was going on at the time. I 
Oh gosh. I hate when y'all start beefing and shit. Um, they sent in more questions. They said, when you gonna do a song with Coca? When Coca, you know it's crazy? Right before Coca had got booked, me and him was about to go to the school. But when he come home, feel me, that feature we I got the open verse still for him and all that. So you have a tape in the works or these are just like singles you about to drop? Like what's up? Yeah, I got my first I every tape that I made so far I made two tapes, but there was there was no type of drill songs on it at all. It was okay. all on some I can't even explain it. It's just it was pain music basically. Some it wasn't like the of Yeah. But this my first drill tape is gonna drop on May 22nd. Yeah, I heard Death Before Dishonor. So, May 22nd, 22nd all platforms. So, this month? Yeah. So, this gonna have the tutu and all that on it? Nah, those, I'm not putting on it yet. I'm gonna <laughs> do those with a video. Wow, and then you making the nigga wait again? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. So, yeah, so, do you feel like, like, Brooklyn rap beef is gonna come to an end, or... Nah, I'm not gonna lie, cause it's a lot of history, like, but like that got nothing to do with music. Way behind it, right? So, you know, like, it's too ignorant it's to really. It's deeper than rap, so no. Yeah. Okay, that's just like it. So like, um, what else? Hmm. So like, when this whole quarantine thing is over, do you plan on like doing shows and stuff? Yeah, um, for a fact. I got a couple of shows I want to do. I, I wanted to perform at SOBs before this whole shit happened. Mm -hmm. And it was a strip club called Secrets I was supposed to perform at. Yeah, so you was getting booked for shows. Like, shit was moving, and this whole quarantine shit, like, slowed up. Yeah. So, like, um, what advice would you give to a rapper coming up in Brooklyn? I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Do not listen to <laughs> nothing nobody say. Everybody in New York is a hater. And if you're from New York, you should know that yourself. So if niggas is telling you, yo, bro, that shit dirt. Don't even do it. Pay them niggas no mind. Do what you feel is best for yourself. So don't um don't take advice from other people. Yeah, follow your mind and follow your heart. If that's what you want to do, you do it for me and put it to your best ability. Mm -hmm. So um, what was that? What was that like? So you say that from experience or you just saying that just in general? From experience, because if I would have listened to niggas and they was telling me for my first few tracks, yo, bro, just stop, I wouldn't be here right now. Like, I would not be on this live. I would be in the gym probably playing. I was I was a ball player, you feel me? So I probably would have been playing ball still. But um, they they had sent in before we got cut off. They was like, um, they was like, why do you think, they was like, why can't y'all just dead beef? I'm trying to remember exactly what they said. They said, why can't beef just be dead? People will want to hear y'all collab or something like that. You want to hear us collab with Ops? Yeah, like, you don't think you would ever collab with Ops? No, nah, nothing. <laughs> no, nah, never. I mean, it would be nice. That's the question that they said in the comments. People, she said that fans love will love the overall power or something like that. But yeah, nah, it's funny. I couldn't see myself doing that like that. Himself. All right, so back to what we were talking about. You were saying like when you was you were speaking off experience of like don't listen to what other people opinions is. So how does that go in the studio? Like, do you do you ask your friends like, hey, do you like this song, or you just go with whatever you like? Yeah, I got like two or three of my man's. Like every time I leave from the studio, I send them all my tracks that I did for me to get feedback because I know they they niggas that's not going to be yes man you feel me they're going to tell me their opinion about it tell me what I got to change and shit they're not going to be on some oh yeah just because my man's lit and he got clout I'm going to just make him think this shit good nah he's not a yes man okay so you want people that's going to give you real feedback yeah constructive criticism okay that's respected so what's next for you? What you working on? You say you got your project coming this month. Are you gonna drop any music videos? Yeah, facts. I'm doing. I'm definitely dropping a vid before the month over or before the tape even drop. Before this month over. Before this month over, you say you're dropping a video. You gonna give us it's a feature yeah. video or it's just you? Nah, solo. Just you. 
So if people want to contact you on all I would just hit your DM. You have an email. Do you have a manager? Like, what's up? Nah, I don't got a manager right now, but I got my DMs is open for me. I got my email and my own um, my bio. So. Mm -hmm. So are you um looking for me or you like me and like independent type shit? I might just for me stay to myself. <laughs> well, I know managers and PRs they help. Ain't nobody really looking but, to manage me, and I don't want to be on some, like, I'm seeking for help, you feel me, so. Yeah, you got to just keep doing whatever happens, happens type shit. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They said, yeah, they said you were working hard and shit. Okay, so, that was all my questions or whatever. They just keep asking, right. would you collaborate? Niggas keep asking, would you collab nah. up? <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, these niggas rob like five times. But yeah, so you got new music coming, project coming. Say, tell us the name of your project again. What you said? Tell us the name of your project again. That's coming. Oh, Death Before Dishonor. That shit's going to drop May 22nd on every platform. So, yeah, be and ready. What's the, what's, the, what's the meaning behind that title? Death before the sun, and that's just like something I'm really gonna live by. Before I dishonor my gods, for me, I'll die. Mm. So, you taking the shit very seriously? Yeah, all right, that's what's up. So, yeah, for me, um, guys, they said they said another question. They said, Would you sign to a label? Definitely, but if that label not offering what I know I'm worth. And that's a done deal. So what are some labels you look looking at right now? If you are looking at any like Um Atlantic and Republic. Atlantic Republic. Like Q C or no? Nah. <laughs> Why not? They look right now. Because they don't they don't got no rappers that's like in the lead that in the lead that I'm trying to go in for me. Mm. Yeah, I think Rod Wave is with Alamo or something. Yeah, Alamo. I think Polo G is Atlantic or something. So. Yeah. So when you um when when you do sign to label, whenever that happens, would you like put artists on? But you want to start your own label, like? Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put certain artists on that I you feel me like that I know got that potential and I feel like they're really working for it. Well, if I can't do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna build and then make my own label. So you wouldn't mind making your own label type shit. Yeah, I wouldn't. The city, if I got the city on me, it gets sticky, homie. Cause I'm bluff. Got some shooters with me, they all different corners, sticky running. Then you out of luck. So y'all niggas, this gon' be the last one. Tazo running, Ricky, he a fast one. Little dummy niggas think they running track, but them bullets hit them flying faster. Fuckin' ambulance, call up the pastor. Cause this little nigga ain't gon' make it. All the